Can you imagine that thing running? And the water flowing through here? And the gold that was here? <laughs> It's pretty funny. We're walking down here, down here by the bridge, and uh, Christina points out, there's a snuffer bottle right there. I'll show you that. So uh, hopefully there's some gold in there. We'll have to look. I'll throw it in the pack. Sutter's Mill, and this is the site where James Marshall found gold in 1848. Now they've moved things around over the last few years here, but I think they've got it back to where it actually is supposed to be. The mill site is right there now, and it used to be down a little bit farther, and they've really made this a lot nicer. So if you get a chance, come check it out. guess what we're here to find some gold it might not be a lot of gold but we're gonna find some gold just like they did January 24th 1848 sit on in it looks like it keeps going and going and going God, I got explosives over there. Oh, there's the old horse cart. You find an old stamp mill, you always got to look and see if there's any gold still in there. Probably is. Can you imagine being locked in that? You ain't getting out. You don't have much shade either. I'd have to have at least two bottles of water. I guess they figured it out. Not one set of bars. You got two sets of bars. And that's not even in the cell. The cell's over there.
Here's the snuffer ball that we found yesterday. We were out on our walk, and uh, it's got a rock jammed in it. So we're gonna try to get it unjammed. You can see here's the rock that's jammed in there. And then we're gonna pan this material that's in here once we get the rock out of there. All right, that tool doesn't make it all the way down there. I could reach it and I could push it. Problem is I'm pushing it to the wrong end. So <clears throat> I got my pack. You can hear the guy with the leaf blower. I got my pack, and it's always good to carry stuff in case you need it. Like uh, Tim's goggles that I found when I was up on the Yuba that I forgot to tell him. Tim, I have your goggles. Well, it is a bright and sunny day out here at Makaha. And the wave situation is, it's, it's big out there. There's a bit of a lull going on right now, but you can tell by all the white water. Another gorgeous day at Makaha Beach. We've got the um, uh, we got the local boys uh, partying in the parking lot. And uh, something I always carry: baling wire. I always have a little bit of baling wire. So now let's get that out of there. Uh, look at that! Pops right. Wouldn't that be cool if that little quartz rock had a piece of gold on it? Not so lucky. Throw it in our pan. We'll pan this out now, see if we have any gold. We'll see whoever lost this. If they have any gold or not. Well. They didn't leave us any gold, but we do have a new snuffer bottle. That's what they were collecting. And I hate to tell you people, that's pyrite. That's fool's gold. Hot chocolate, join the river. Let's go find some gold to put in here. It's maiden voyage, because whoever bought it surely didn't put any in it. Some bedrock poking out down here. Uh, I mean, look at all that down there. I'm sure, it's been picked over before, maybe once or twice, but uh, let's give it a shot. A few crevices here. All right, we got a couple little crevices right here we're going to check out. We're uh, kind of out in the middle of the river here. Um, a little waterfall up above us over here, but uh, yeah, it's a good spot looking here. Good spot looking here. Hmm. This looks like a good spot. And just in case you were wondering, we're not in the park. Parks, hands and pants. Obviously, these aren't hands and pants. Okay, so we're uh, crevicing out these cracks. As you can see we've got about a, a quarter of a pan full. We're going to go ahead and uh, pan this out and see if we uh, have any gold yet. And just like that, we've got gold from the South Fork of the American River here in Coloma. And break this snuffer bottle in. I think we're gonna go up the creek a bit here and uh, see if we can find maybe a little bigger pieces. there very small piece of visible gold we're gonna get that in the snuffer bottle and now we're gonna head up creek 
Well, looky there. Some South Fork American River gold with some South Fork American River lead. I had to come back to the camp and get another water. And I think we're going to go down and we're going to try to pan in the park. Um, so I dropped off all my stuff except my pan because it's hands and pans. Let's go give it a shot. Hopefully we can find some down there too. Funny thing is, when we found the uh, snuffer bottle, I asked her, I said, hey, you didn't get me a pan? But we just walked back over here today and right here in front of me, here's a gold pan. So we're gonna add that to the collection. <laughs> we just got that with the pan. And look at this. The lead king. Look at that sinker. That's just with the pan. I don't know if there's any gold in here or not. But we are in the spot where there's heavies. Yeah, it looks like one little bitty piece. Here, where James Marshall discovered gold, January 24th, 1848. There's the mill site. There's the marker where he said he discovered gold, but it's actually not it. It's a little bit farther down in the jungle over there. We've got some riffles right here, and we can't make it around. I wanted to get as close to the site as possible. Got a pan full of material. Let's pan it out. a small piece of gold. Very small piece of gold. And like Gary says, let's send it back to grow up. Well, we came, we found gold, we did the tour of the park. It's been a great time. The weather's coming in. We've got to go back and pack up and head for home. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you get a chance, come to the Marshall State Park. Bring a gold pan, find yourself some gold. And do me a favor, please. If you see trash you got on the river, pick it up. <laughs>